I had a call on Christmas day after church to come and consume fufu with my Christian buddy so I decided to go and consume fufu but fortunately on my side when I went they had not started the cooking and I had the opportunity to film so come along with me as I take you through our Christmas fufu what we ate on Christmas day how we made it and it was machine fufu we did not pound so you will see what goes in and what comes out of the machine fufu if you are new thanks for joining and to my old golden members I love you so so much in our pot we have our chicken this chicken is too big chicken which has been chopped so we are about to steam it with our spices and for our spices we have our ginger garlic and onion which we are about to blend this soup is very quick because the one preparing it didn't add garden eggs it's just tomato soup that's chicken tomato soup <laughs> She has already added her spices, the monosodium, Remy spices to the chicken and she's adding salt. After she adds her ginger, garlic and onion puree to season the chicken to get the flavors going in there. The chicken is boiling and this is our tomato and our peppers. She's basically using her hand to crush it so that she can easily blend it. This is not really a fancy way of cooking so just manage it with us just manage it okay so she's putting water in the saucepan she's putting water in the blender to blend after blending she decided to strain it with her colander the reason why she's straining the tomato is because of the seeds of the pepper and the tomato mostly ghana like soup we do not want to see the seeds going in there so she finished straining and then she allows it to boil and cook beautifully so our soup is ready this is not an in-depth tutorial of how we make soup but just come along with me as i show you what i did and what i ate for christmas <laughs> The cassava and plantain is already on fire. They peeled it and placed it on fire way before I got there. This is a switch stove and that's what they basically use to boil the cassava and plantain. It consumes a lot of charcoal if you don't have enough charcoal. So this came in handy and this is what mostly Africans use to cook most of their recipes in the village. So the plantain and the cassava is ready and my dear sister here is straining out the water. We do not use the water when we are pounding plantain and cassava fufu. But when we are pounding yam fufu, we collect the water in a bowl and save. So that we can be adding it whilst pounding the yam fufu she proceeds to transfer the food into a bowl so that it can cool she's also coming to remove the strings in between the cassava because this fufu we are going to pound it in machine and with machine fufu we have to allow the cassava and the plantain cool thoroughly before we pound the reason being that when you put hot plantains and cassava through the fufu machine it is going to get stuck inside the machine and it wouldn't come out but when it's dry and very firm it easily comes out so this is the cooled plantain and cassava <laughs> The location for grinding our cassava is a little bit far so we decide to put it on our head and go to the location. Hello. <laughs> but it was quite unfortunate that today being a Christmas day a lot of people were utilizing the fufu machine and we had to join a queue and their petrol was also finished and they had to go and get petrol so that we can continue the process the petrol is now in and we have to make sure all those we came to meet are done before we start and this is our turn and this is basically how they pound the fufu they pour the cassava in the machine and then the owner starts grinding it with a pistol then it comes out like this this looks like cotton candy but it is no way closer to cotton candy this is fufu pure fufu a lot of people are grossed out by this method but looking at it today today was the day i had the opportunity to get a close view of this fufu machine and i don't really find it bad it's not really too nasty i, I think it's it's better 
it's way better looking at how they treat it they don't even touch it with their hands maybe what is wrong here is the petrol coming along with fufu and maybe someone will not like it but i think it's not too bad like i thought at first so look at how beautiful it is coming out and dropping into the bowl so that's how we are going to go till the fufu is finished So we are back from the fufu machine and my sister here is about to turn the fufu. She told me she can't do it because she doesn't know how to do it. She's a not and they're used to yam fufu. But I told her that she should just try. She should give it a try. I remember way back when we were growing up, our parents would never allow us to say we can't do it. We were forced to learn how to do it. Someone who doesn't know how to do it and even doesn't consume fufu on a regular basis, she has done well. So this is basically we trying to make the fufu in a presentable form before we serve this is not a different process where we are turning the fufu or pounding the fufu we are just making it very presentable and that's what my sister here is doing and this is my fufu as well when you're eating fufu and the fufu is plain you can't eat your meat some of us we want to finish our food before we eat all our meat so i wanted to consume my meat so this is what i'm going to take and she's about to serve me this soup was delicious <music> She didn't put a lot of ingredients in it, no garden eggs, no corn susa, no tiki berries, just tomato, ginger, pepper, garlic, and onion. And this is what we have here. So this is like a chicken tomato soup. So this is what I'm going to eat. Guys, <laughs> my first fufu video, someone said my meat is only one. Yes, because that's what I have. But today, I have more than three meat on my food. It's time and seasons. You don't complain. You just eat what you have. When do you have? You consume as well. And as I'm here eating a lot of meat, this is my day. What can I say than to be grateful to God that I have a lot of food to consume on a Christmas day? Someone somewhere is not even having one meat to eat. So guys, this is the machine fufu. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you saw a close view of how our machine fufu looks like. Go to the comment section and comment. Will you opt for a machine fufu or you would always go for the pounding method because you can't deal with this engine oil and petrol and someone talking over your fufu or someone pounding your fufu for you just comment down below what what is the problem with machine fufu because i had a big issue with machine fufu until i got close and i realized that it isn't 100 percent hygienic and good but it's efficient for people who do not even have the time to pound their fufu but need to eat fufu and a lot of people purchase it a lot of people even though you hear a lot of people talking negative about it a lot of people do also purchase if it is not important why will people keep purchasing it so i think it's 50 50 for me comment down below your thoughts on this so happy christmas thank you thank you so much for coming along with me as i take you through what i consumed on christmas a, a fufu and chicken rice soup recipe i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like this video and stay safe as i always stay safe wherever you are i love you and until next time stay blessed